Hi, Luis from Specify here. Today we'll see how to pull design tokens and assets from your Specify repository and transform them so they can be used in a React project using the Theme UI specification. So as you can see here, I have in my local directory what we will generate in this tutorial. So in this output folder, I have an assets folder containing icons and font files that have been uh, converted and generated in specific file formats. And I also have a theme that JS file containing a JavaScript theme that, yeah, can be used in a React application. And I also have uh, my font face imports in this CSS file. So let's get rid of everything and let's generate this with the CLI. So, as you can see here, in my repository, I have several types of design data. I have colors, I have text styles, I have vectors, um, and uh, yeah, and I also have, uh, no, and I also have font files. Anyway, um, let's use the CLI and let's get everything in my local directory. So first thing first, the specified CLI can be installed locally or globally, and here I will choose to install it globally. So yarn global add specify slash CLI. And when you do this, now that I have the CLI installed, I am able to, yeah, configure specify so that I can say to specify, I want my vectors in my project in this folder converted from SVG to GS6, um, uh, to GS6 icons compatible with React. I want you to get all of the following design tokens and get and yeah generate them in this theme compatible with the theme UI specification and get my font files, convert them in these formats extra. So instead of doing instead of doing all of this manually, I can do it thanks to the CLI. So once you, once you have installed the CLI, you have at your disposal several commands. The command I'm gonna use first is the command specify init that will help me generate a specify configuration. Um, for a specific technology. So here I choose not to start from scratch, but I choose to use a template and the template I'm going to use is for React. And I want the specified configuration file to be generated in JSON. So I do this and here, as you can see, I have a specified configuration file. However, as this message is telling you, we our configuration file is not ready yet. We need to update it. So first thing I have to do is to set my specify repository from which I want to pull my design data from. So my my specify repository is called all design data and it's in the Acme Inc. organization. So okay, perfect. And now I need a personal access token. This personal access token is basically the key I can give to specify so that specify understands that I have the correct access right to get to call to call specify and get design data in return. I can generate my personal access token directly from my user settings, and this is what I'm gonna do right now. And I will name my personal access token CLI. And I set my personal access token here. So now that our configuration is ready, we want to get design data from Specify. However, I want to be sure that my Specify repository is up to date because what you can see here is that my, for instance, my colors, colors coming, uh, colors in this Specify repository are coming from a Figma file, but maybe this Figma file has been um, updated and maybe my figma, my figma library has been updated so i want to be sure that the colors i'm pulling from specifier are the latest one available i can update colors manually directly from the application but here i can also do this thanks programmatically directly from the cli and this is with the sync 
command. I can do this thanks to the sync command. So let's do this. And now that I'm sure that my repository is synced, I will use the pool command. And the pool command uh, will help me pull design data from my specified repository and generate my design data according to what I have explained specified to do in my configuration file here. So let's do specify pool. Okay, perfect. And now I have in my output folder all of my assets, my icons as JSX components, and my font files and my theme object that I will be able to use in my React project. Thanks for watching.